Houston is conducting their poll to ensure that we are go for final approach and docking when we depart waypoint two. Again, final hold point for today's mission. So this is really game time. We are getting close to seeing these two new crew members arrive at the space station. Again, once they dock, it'll take about two hours for all of the operations required uh, before we see them float through the hatch. That includes vestibule depressurization. That's the space between Dragon and the International Space Station itself. And right now it is exposed to vacuum um, so that Dragon can dock. So Freedom SpaceX on the big loop. Ground is go for final approach. Confirm crew readiness for approach and visors are down. And SpaceX Freedom, visors down, we are go for docking. SpaceX copies. As a reminder, once Dragon is inside the crew hands-off point, retreat and breakout are not permitted. And Freedom SpaceX, we are resuming approach. Freedom copies. Awesome news there from Mission Control. And of course, hearing our Crew-9 astronauts on board Dragon that we are go for docking. Um, if you're watching closely, you're also seeing some great pulses from those Draco thrusters on board as Dragon approaches the ISS uh, for that final docking maneuver. Again, that was the final hold, and we heard the communications that we are go for docking and have resumed that approach. So we will not hold again, and they discussed CHOP, uh, which we mentioned earlier, the crew hands-off point. That's within two meters from the International Space Station. Station Houston on the big loop. Dragon is on final approach and is go for docking. Monitor per step five and six in 1.102, Dragon approach and retreat monitoring. Station copies, step five and six. So those sound like similar communications, but the first was to the crew on Dragon. The second is to our crew monitoring in the cupola. Um, and you hear them reference uh, what they should be looking at, any procedures that they're referencing during this dynamic phase. And we're continuing to see Dragon get closer to the International Space Station, now about 17 meters away from the docking port. Again, we do expect to be in an orbital nighttime during docking, but uh, this is a pretty cool view, as you can see a camera coming from Dragon and focusing on the docking port itself. So it looks like we are properly aligned with that node to forward port as we continue to approach now just 15 meters away. Seeing good real-time readouts on your screen there, um, just in the upper right-hand corner, you can see our LIDAR geometry indicating how close we are to the International Space Station. LIDAR, of course, stands for light radar, and it is used in uh, maneuvers like this in space to help two spacecraft meet each other. And that helps us to not need daylight when we are executing these maneuvers. So again, I mentioned this is happening in the dark. We can hold and wait for different lighting conditions if we needed to, but uh, because we have uh, this um, LIDAR technology, we're able to continue moving in. And like you mentioned, Ronnie, if you look in the top left, you can see we're now just about 10 meters away from the International Space Station. Oh, confirmation from the crew, 10 meters Copy away. 10. Of course, now we're also within that crew hands-off point, in large part because the autonomous systems on board Dragon, which we're getting kind of a, a representation of on your screen right now, are completing this final docking maneuver. Looks like just about seven and a half meters to go.
Again, first we will be holding for soft capture when that soft capture ring uh, makes contact with the space station. That will then retract and begin hard capture. But docking for us is called at the time of soft capture. Copy five. Standing by for the arrival of Crew 9 to the International Space Station. We are also getting some pretty good views here of Dragon approaching uh, station, even though we are in an orbital nighttime and it's pretty dark. Um, that's exciting to see how close these spacecraft are to each other. Yeah, now just about four meters away. Standing by for the call for CHOP, crew hands off point. And on two meters, hands off. Less than two meters away, standing by for docking. One meter. Freedom SpaceX on the big loop, soft capture confirmed. Crew 9 has arrived to the International Space Station. Docking confirmed at 4.30 p.m. Central Time, 5.30 p.m. Eastern Time over Botswana. Now we still have a few steps to complete before Dragon is securely attached to the station. So we're gonna go ahead and follow those along as well. We are standing by for the hard capture sequence start and then we will also hear a call out for hard docking complete. We're expecting that a little bit more than 10 minutes from now.